This year, I'm doing Advent of Code differently. Let me back up. Igniter is a code generation and manipulation library from the makers of the Ash framework. While I haven't used Ash yet, I was curious how Igniter could fit into my workflow. Then it hit me. Every December, I participate in a challenge called Advent of Code. And for the past few years, I've used Mitchell Hanberg's starter repo. It comes with mixed tasks, tests, and implementation modules for all 25 days. But throughout a given year, I start to build out utility methods and slightly tweak the starting point. Some days I discover that I'm going to use a parser combinator, for example. That brings me to today's project. Can I use Igniter to generate all the files I need for a given day's challenge? The short answer is yes, but for the long answer, stick around. This is Code and Stuff. Code for this project can be found in a link in the description. Let's get started. To begin with, I created a new Elixir project with Mix, New, Advent. Then I installed a few small dependencies, including Igniter itself. The best way to get started with Igniter is to use the Igniter Gen Task task to generate a task. Of course, this is also powered by Igniter. It's Igniter all the way down. Igniter. So let's run mix Igniter Gen Task Advent Generate Day. This task will prompt us to confirm the project modifications it wants to make. In this case, it just wants to create a new task in the lib mix tasks folder. Now that we have a task, let's do a quick walkthrough. The task that it generates contains a ton of comments to guide us around. It tells us what different info fields mean, what the examples look like, and even starts out with a warning telling us that it hasn't yet been implemented. I'll go ahead and give it a try and see that warning that it's not yet implemented. My goal is to use this task with two optional arguments, day and year. So I'll update the example, documentation, and info to reflect this. Now if I run mix help and then the name of my task, I'll see some documentation. It generates scaffold for an advent of code solution. Here's what it looks like and here's the options. Neat. Positional arguments in Igniter always come in as strings, so I want to convert them to numbers. For days, I also want to validate that they're in the first 25 days of December. So I wrote a little helper. Integer.parse returns an error when the input is not a number, and this when statement ends up restricting the pattern to only accept numbers between 1 and 25. If we have something that doesn't fit the criteria of being a number and being between 1 and 25, let's raise an error prescribing the proper day format. And when the user doesn't provide a day, let's default to the current one. Now, Eric Wassel, the creator of Advent of Code, releases the challenges at midnight in his local time zone, which happens to be US Eastern time. So we'll return the current day in that time zone as a fallback. I don't wanna to be too restrictive with years, so I'll do a slightly lighter validation on these, falling back to the current year and making sure that we have a valid number. One small thing to note, to get time zones to work right in Elixir, you have to import a time zone library and configure it in your config.exs file. With these helpers in place, I should be able to grab the day and the year. Let's log them out now. So if I run this with nothing, it's currently the 12th. So it will say 12, 2024. If I want to run this for a specific day, then it will say, for example, 1, 2024. And if I give it a specific year, then it'll generate that one. If I use foo instead of a real number, it'll tell me that's not valid. And if I give it a negative one or a zero, again, it'll give me invalid day. Everything seems to be working fine. So let's actually start generating some code. A very common pattern in Elixir libraries is to pipe a struct around through functions that perform transformations on it. In Ecto, this is how we build queries. In web servers, we pass a plug con object around and Igniter is no different. It has dozens of methods that take an Igniter object as the first argument and return an Igniter object to pipe around. Let's use this pattern to generate our first module, the one that holds the solution for a given day. I'm going to establish a couple of helpers, one to give us the full day number. For the first day, it would be 0, 1. For 10, it would just be 10. We're just doing left pad here, folks. And then we're going to parse a name of the module that we're trying to produce. In this case, advent and what the year is, and then that full day number. Now here's where the value of igniter comes in. The create module function takes in an igniter, which we're piping in, 
and then a name of a module, and we'll take whatever text it's given and put that into a module in the correct folder within the Elixir project. Let's give this a try. I'll run mix advent generate day one, 2023. The first thing you'll notice is that it prompts me to confirm what it's generating. In this case, it's going to put a module called year 2023.day01 in the 2023.day01 folder. I'll say proceed with the changes and all of the directories leading up to that were created. The contents were put inside of the module and the module's name was generated based on the parameters from this mix task. We can take a similar approach to generate the test files for a day. I'll establish a test module name, which is just the day module, but with a test suffix, and then we can use that same helper. Notice that the igniter instance is being piped from method to method through igniter, building up this context that we're generating. In this case, we're gonna use that test module name. We're gonna do some string interpolation and pull in the name of the day module, and then we're gonna put this in a different directory. Igniter provides a utility called proper test location that generates a good path for a test module with the given module name. Now, if I run my generator, it'll propose two files, one for the implementation and one for the tests. If I go ahead and accept these changes, I can go in and search for 01 and see my implementation file and my test file. Neat. Now, as I work through the day's problems, I can uncomment the skip tag and assert that the result matches the day's example problem. Now, in advent of code, when it's time to actually submit an answer, every user has their own inputs. This lets you prove that you have code that solves the problem instead of just copying the answer from someone else. The template I base this off of has some network utilities that handle fetching and caching inputs, and I'll use these methods in my mix tasks. The goal is to be able to run something like Mix 2023 day one part one. Since there will be two files for this, one for part one and one for part two, I figure this is a good time to mention Igniter's support for EEX templates. The Igniter copy template function copies and evaluates a template file, putting the result in a specific path. I've gone ahead and written a template for tasks called day mix task .eex. In this template, I'm able to define an entire file and have certain spots that are variable based on the context in which the template was evaluated. For example, everywhere that I reference day or year will end up getting replaced with those values later on. Over in the generator, let's start putting some variables into the template context. This assign function will put certain values into the igniter instance that we're passing through all of these piped operations. With these values present in the igniter instance, I don't need to pass a bunch of variables around if I want to break certain code generation tasks into functions, which is exactly what I'll do. So let's create a function called add mix task. This function references the template, creates the module name on the fly, and then merges the assigned values from our igniter instance with an override for which part are we generating and what is the module name we're generating. All of this gets passed to that copy template function I mentioned earlier, and we make sure that we put the file in the proper location given its module name. Now, generating tasks is as easy as adding two lines to the main igniter function. Just like that, if I run the mix advent generator, it'll create all the files I need to solve that day's problems. We've got tests, we've got mix tasks, including a benchy flag, and we've got our implementation module. Everything I need each day. By accepting the changes, I can run mix 2023 day one part one and see it go. Igniter provides a ton of convenient utilities for code generation, which is no surprise considering that it comes from Ash, a collection of libraries that let you create Elixir web apps without much manual effort. But I've only scratched the surface of this package. Beyond generation, it has the ability to make edits on existing files through transformations on an abstract syntax tree that uses a zipper structure. Very fascinating stuff, but I didn't find a use for it in this project. One of these days, I'm going to actually test out Ash, but until then, I'll keep on using their code generator. If you're interested in generating and manipulating Elixir code programmatically, check out Igniter on GitHub. Give it a star and find ways to contribute. If you found this video useful or think someone else would enjoy it, please do all the YouTube things. This has been Code and Stuff. Thanks for watching.